Hi guys, Brooke here, and I'm here with Carter. Carter, and today we're going to be drawing a Star Wars droid. What's the droid's name? Oh, uh, I think it's Theo. All right, are you ready to get started? Yes. Me too. All right, so go ahead and find the middle of your paper. Where do you think the middle is? Here. Looks good. Now on this side, the left side, okay, okay we're gonna draw a circle. It's gonna be a medium sized circle. About that big. Here? You can move your finger, but you want your circle to be right over here. Okay. You can move your finger. Perfect. Now inside that circle, we're going to draw a line towards the top part of it. It's just going to go straight across, but look, it doesn't touch on either side. Got it. It's towards the top of it. Here? A little lower. Lower, lower, lower. Right there. Good. Now from this side, we're gonna follow along, not touching the outside, and we're just gonna draw a little mountain up and over. Good. Now down below it, we're gonna draw a line coming across that again, does not touch on either side. That right there, perfect. And down Right about the middle of our circle, we're gonna draw another line coming across. Down just a little ways, once again, don't touch the sides. We're gonna draw another line across. And one more right towards the bottom. And we're going to do a small curved U that follows along, not touching the edge. All right. All right. Now, from the bottom, we're going to curve up and just have a circle, little line that curves up right next to it. Okay. Perfect. Same thing over on this side from the top. We're gonna curve up and follow around and just stop right on top. Good. Now right between those two lines, I'm just gonna draw a short little curved line. Good. All right, now. This is still about center, right next to our circle, right? Mm -hmm. So about halfway to the other side, and coming up, I'm going to draw from here a diagonal about that far. This goes up a little bit diagonal. Looks good. Then from up here, we're going to draw a diagonal going up. Got it. From right here. Got it. Yep. Good. Good. Keep going. Right at that angle. You're doing great. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. Good. Now from here to here, we're going to draw a half circle. And attach. Good. Now, not quite halfway. I'd say this is halfway, so a little short of halfway. I'm going to draw another curved half circle that comes up and attaches. Curve it in. Good. All right, now up here, 
leaving a little space. So there's some white. I'm going to draw a diagonal line. Good. Now I'm going to draw a diagonal this way, coming back. I just want to flatten this line. There you go. And I'm going to follow along, matching this line, and come up. It's a little bit longer. And then we're just going to attach those two lines. All right, now coming up just a little higher than this one's a little further away. And leaving a little space, I'm going to draw another diagonal. And it goes a little further this way because it starts up higher there. There we go. Now I'm going to draw a diagonal going down that way. I'm going to follow along, matching this one. And of course, right here at the end, we're just going to connect those two. All right. We're going to do one more. Right here, I'm gonna curve it down. Curve it down. And then I'm gonna follow along again. Coming up this way. It looks like a box right here. And then we're just gonna attach them. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna just draw a line coming diagonal back. This one does connect. And then right by this line, as if this is continuing, I'm going to draw another little line. Is it supposed to go through? Uh, you'll see. But yeah, it's just supposed to be like that, just little. And then we're going to do a shorter one right here, closer to the bottom, a little bit smaller line. And then starting right here, a longer line. And it just follows this line, just like that. I thought um, there were even um, lines that went through. Perfect. Okay, now up here by our third rectangle that we made, we're going to draw a line coming out. Here? Mm hmm. Diagonal up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. About there. Then we're going to put another diagonal following right along that one. Now at the end of it, we're just going to draw a circle. A circle. Yeah. Connect the circle all the way. Oh. There you go. Now right here on the bottom of our circle, we're going to draw 
a very long curved line, like it's tall C, like a very tall C. Curved up, good. And then it's gonna go almost straight sideways with a tiny bit of a diagonal. See this line right here? I wanna follow my finger down and I'm gonna do a diagonal about to there. Go, 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 and stop. From there, I'm going to do a line coming straight up, just a short one. Good. Then I'm going to draw a diagonal up until it connects with my circle. Now right inside here, I'm going to draw a small backward C. It does not touch on top or bottom. Good. Okay. I'm going to draw a diagonal that just follows along this line. Okay. So just to connect with the circle. It connects with this backward C, but it doesn't connect on the other side. Same thing on top. We're going to just follow along and stop. Okay. Now with a small diagonal going this way, I just have a short line. And then one on top. It's about the same length. And then I'm going to draw a big circle right there. And draw a big circle and draw it right here. Connecting both those dots. Yep, that one. And the next one. Keep circling. Now right in this little part right here, we're also going to draw a little circle. Yeah. All right, from right here, I'm going to draw a C on this side and a backward C on the other side. And then a straight line connecting those. Straight line connecting both of those. Good. Now I'm going to draw a line coming down and stop. On the other side, also drawing a line coming down about the same length. Good. Can you draw another line? Down, down, down. Go to the final curved line. <laughs> now to connect those, we're going to do a mountain that connects those. Good. Now inside that mountain, we're going to draw a circle. So it doesn't touch, but it curves up into that mountain. Okay. It's not very big, it's a smaller circle. That works. Let's go. All right, now. On this side, we're going to start above our line and we're going to do a big backward C that comes down below our circle. Good. 
right up here on this dot. We're going to do a slight diagonal going up. And a curve line coming up that meets up right at that point. All right, now, right over on this side, we're gonna draw a tall C that comes around and finishes this circle. So this circle, you're gonna start here and finish that circle, but don't touch. See how it doesn't touch? Yeah. And from the bottom of this, we're just gonna draw a little diagonal up. And then we're just going to curve it up. It's okay, just curve it up. That works. All right, now, starting, here's halfway up. I'm going to go a little higher than halfway up. So I'm starting up here. And I'm going to do a circle that goes all the way around and meets up on the other side. Is this the big circle where he walks on? We're starting his wheel. Right here? Mm-hmm. Right here? Mm-hmm. Perfectly. Good. Okay, now up a little higher, almost touching the top part right here, we're gonna draw another circle and you want to stay about the same distance the whole way around so it doesn't get skinnier or fatter. This all stays the same distance. So I'm gonna even come to the other side and work from there. There we go. Take your time, you just follow along, try to keep the same distance. Right now, below this guy, right in the middle of this diagonal, I'm going to draw a line coming straight down. Here? Mm hmm. Well, about halfway down. Good. Okay. And then draw a line across, not quite as wide as my circle. And then we're going to just attach it up so it's a nice rectangle shape. Now coming slightly in, I'm just going to draw a straight line to the bottom. Same thing on the other side, straight line to the bottom. About halfway up my rectangle, I'm going to draw a line going straight sideways. And on the other side, a line going straight sideways. Now 
up here on the top of this curved line, I'm going to draw a line going straight sideways. Same thing on the other side, straight sideways. Now inside, I'm going to draw a line there. And I want to match it on the other side, about the same height, a line there. Coming down a little further, I'm going to do another line. Okay, pretend that it went all the way through and finish it on the other side. Nice and close, I'm going to draw another line. Pretend it went through, follow through on the other side. Another close line. Pretend it went through as well. You should have room for one more line. So if we have room, we're going to do one more line on each side. Can I do two? Yeah. If you have extra room, you can add extra. Great. All right. Now, over here, I'm going to follow along my curved line. At the top, I'm going to draw a line across. It does not quite touch. Same thing at the bottom. It does not touch. On the inside, I'm going to draw a curved line following along over here, a little bit longer one. I'm going to draw lines the opposite way going up and going up. Let's do another one down here following along on the inside. Little line coming out on each end. Now we're here. Medium length. And let's add those lines on each side. Falling on the inside again, let's do a longer line. Add those lines on each end that stick out. Now following the outside, we're going to make a shorter one right over here. And add our little lines on each side. And if you want to add more on yours to finish your wheel off, you can. Put it on the other side. There. Can you go on my bed? Yeah, do them on the opposite side on the top. Yep. Good. All right. Now, 
what we're going to do is down here, over here on the diagonal part, we're going to draw a diagonal coming up and out. And then from there, we're going to draw a curved line that comes all the way up, almost touching there. Got it. Stay blind. Curve with it. Keep going, keep going higher, 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 higher. You can stop about there. From there, you want to curve it back down and attach it in. Good. Now, following a similar diagonal, I'm going to draw a line that almost touches. I'm going to come up about halfway. Okay. And I'm going to draw another line that almost touches. And, and almost to the top over here, halfway up again. I'm going to draw another line that almost touches. You could probably do one more because yours is bigger than mine. About there, yep. Then on the other side, in between all of those, I'm going to draw a line the opposite direction. Good. Now between these two, mm -hmm. the opposite direction. Same thing up here. Good. All right, we're almost done. We just need to finish this section right in here. So right here, starting a little ways in, I'm just going to draw a little line just coming out from here. Good. Now I'm going to draw a line going straight up and down, but it went past my line just a little bit. Good. Now, now up here, I have this curved line coming out. I'm going to go on the other side of it and draw a line that comes down almost the same length. Yep, right over there. And then to connect those, I want to make a curved U type of line. Now this line right here, I want it to look like it keeps going just over onto the other side a little bit. I'm going to do a diagonal coming back to a catch. Over here I'm going to have a straight line coming down. What's up? Ooh, looks like a card. And then we're going to attach it in. It kind of looks like a cardboard box. A little bit. We're going to attach it in and then from right down here on this part we're going to make a tube that comes out and up. Here. Yep. And then right below it, we're going to follow along with another line, just making it a little thicker.
And then inside here, we're going to draw an upside down V. And we're going to turn it into a diamond by putting a V on the other side. Nice. What do you think? It looks good. You ready to color? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Are you guys ready to see our final drawing? Carter, are you ready? Yes. All right, count us in. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, that looks really good. There it is. All right, did you have fun? Yes. Yes, well you rocked that. That was a pretty tough drawing and you did an awesome job. We can't wait to do another drawing with you. Join us again soon for another How to Draw. How to Draw, bye. Oh,